Hallelujah. Amen. Let's quickly go to the word of God. I want to show you a few things and uh, <clears throat> and then we move on to the next level. Psalm 97. Clouds and thick darkness, darkness surrounds him. Righteousness, Righteousness and justice are the foundations of the earth. Fire, Fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Receive the praise and the glory. Amen. Have you seen in God's presence? for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Say next dimension. Next dimension. Are there people who are wanting for next dimension? Oh, yes. Alright, I only see three people. May God give you that next dimension. I receive. <laughs> you got to see that every time there's an announcement, there's an angel who has descends and ascend. Oh yes. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, don't be too late. Don't be too late. In the place where God's move. Oh. Hallelujah. Next dimension. dimension. The next dimension. Oh, yes. When you go to the next dimension, it requires from you quite a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Amen. Physically, soul, and spirit. It requires from you strength from your physic, from your soul, and from your spirit for you to climb to the next dimension it's always sound good when people speak about next dimension but those who go to the next dimension they have a process they take it's not something that falls from heaven it's not something that's happened by night and then something suddenly take place no yes it can happen suddenly but that suddenly require a consistent time in god's presence and you can see as the bible say that before the lord there is fire praise the lord it, there is fire before him everywhere he walks there is fire 
so that means when God is getting closer to you you must encounter fast fire so God visitation in your life you must encounter divine fire before you to touch the tangible presence of God the tangible dimensions that you desire to flow in the glory of God you must encounter fire hello hello I know I am coming to talk to a few people who are for the next dimension who it has been announced for promotion oh yes I can see so the next dimension require a lot of energy from you because that next dimension it is not for the place where you are now it is not for the character of what you're developing now it's not for the attitude of what you have been doing now it is for a different attitude and different character and a different speech because a man who has gone through fire the speech change the character change the attitude change and everything about you changes so one thinks when god is coming next to you there is fire ahead of him not to destroy but to make you to look like him <laughs> because if he's a consuming fire god that means you need to pass through the fire for you to see the consumer for you to be next to the consumer you must know the attitude of fire the temperature of fire and the test of fire so as long as you don't know yet the test of fire the attitude of fire and the character of what you are supposed to carry in the time of fire then you won't meet the consumer short fire fire next dimension hallelujah so every time there is an announcement of a greatest <laughs> dimension coming your way you must know you are about to counter the greatest fire because the more you get closer to god the more you encounter fire the bible said there is seven laps before the throne of god and all of it it is fire praise the lord Amen. it is fire hallelujah so in all those fire that you must encounter you encounter this fire you encounter that fire and all that fire carries on dimensions so every dimension carry fire in it so every time god is to take you to the next level you must encounter certain things that need to mold you that need to make you that need to to characterize you into the right character that god desire to be and sometimes God allows you to go through certain things in order to remove out of you a weakness. And as long as that weakness is still there, your fire needs to add, to be added, and to be added every day until that weakness needs to be consumed so you can encounter the supernatural God. And one of the reasons why most Christians are remaining in pain and in same problem, which are saying, I've been tested in this over and over. <laughs> it's because something has not yet come out of you. Therefore, you remain in that estate until something which is in you get to come out. The Bible says he causes it to his loved one. As long as you are loved by God, God will put you to fire if you are not loved then you will be away from fire and i don't know why christians they don't like fire that means you don't want to want to say god don't love me remain like that but as long as you want god love to be so strong in your life you need to accept to face fire the bible says if you are not willing to die for jesus then you are not willing to live for him if you are willing to live for jesus then you are, must be willing to die in the pain for jesus your attitudes in your time of fire is the attitude of complain is the attitude of wondering is your attitude of asking god what is it i won't be for long but i want to answer your spirit <laughs> Bring it on, Baba. i want to answer you your attitudes 
towards fire how does your attitude remain when fire comes how will you stand when fire comes and when the fire finishes it takes you not through the water <laughs> Because as long as you are not tested, you are not trusted. Because many people are in the grace level, but few are walking in the trusty level. Because if you want to climb in the level of trust, you must be tested. And it is dangerous when you walk with people who are not tested. Because when you have people who are not tested around you, they will betray you. They will crush you. They will backbite you. They will destroy you. They will gossip you. And the Lord desires you to walk with people who went through fire with you and they still stood with you. And the reason why God sent fire in your life for your next dimension to manifest, it's, a, it's for a purpose to remove the wrong things and the wrong people around you. I remember one time in my life I sent a seed to my father and my seed caused a serious chaos. The day I sent a seed, that is the day someone came to steal from me. And I saw it, I'm like, what is this? What is this? What kind of sign is this? Will I complain before God or what? But when I informed it to my father, my father said, it is a reaction of your seed. How, what kind of understanding is that? So your seed can cause even people to steal from you. encounter that you desire to have with God it comes with fire and that fire it's what will make you encounter the God that I'm talking about <laughs> ay, 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 ay. hallelujah shout fire. fire as long as you never encounter fire you never encounter fire then there is no a God to manifest in your life there is a couple that comes that spoke one day to a man of God and said we want to get married and the man of God answered them what marriage you want to get married okay tell me have you ever guys fought before the woman said never me fighting with this man God forbid I never fought with him and he said, are you sure? Yes. Hey, why should I fight with him? So for one year, you never fought. Yes. He went to the man. Man, have you ever fought with this woman or slap her or do something? He said, never. I'm faithful. I'm loving. I am gentle. I am kind. We never argue. We never, I even never mentioned this man. I even, even argue or lift my voice against her. Because I love her. She's the love of my life. The man of God looked at them. And say to them, go until the day you argue, come and see me. <laughs> you can never, never say that you are in marriage if you never argue. Arguments come as a sign of fire. If you can overcome arguments, that means you are passed through the fire. And you overcoming the argument bound you guys together and makes you guys stronger. But those who do not overcome it, it destroy them. But the thing is this, through the fire you can die or you can also survive. And we have many Christians who pass through the fire, they never remain alive, but they die. That means test in life comes to make you strong. But if you are not wise, it can kill you. So every time there is a time of fire and test, it is your time for the next dimension. Oh, can I hear a big man here? Yeah. When you are tested, that means you are tested for greatness. You can never give a testimony if you've never been tested. If you can never be tested in your finances, then there is no testimony ahead for your finances. So if God can test you financially, that means he's preparing you for a testimony for your finances. If God can test you about your house, that means it's preparing you for a testimony about your house. 
now you can tell god you are wrong when you are going through your time of fire you begin complaining you are telling god don't let me go through it don't let me go through it god you are wrong god can't you see that i'm pain god can't you see that i lack god can't you see that people are complaining people are criticizing me god can't you not see what is happening around and yes because he said i will go with you through the fire i allow that fire so that we can look like hello hello now let me show you something for a proof i said i won't be wrong but for a proof for you to know that's whatever all right you are going through you need to understand you need also to know if what i'm going through is it from god or is it not from god okay because you can go through fire that is luciferian fire there's also luciferian fire that's been covering yourself in ignorance limiting yourself and saying it is god and not no god and yet there are demonic forces involved in your problems amen but there is a sign for you to know whatever you're going through it is godly one god has to inform you before you to go through it you are quiet only a few people have been informed that's me the rest you're not being informed <laughs> but if you are going through and you're about to enter fire god has to inform you either through a dream or through a vision if you miss a dream if you miss a vision then he has to send a prophet then when god send a prophet and inform you that you're about to encounter something that means it is godly then there is no man of god who will lay hands on you to stop the test never no man no angel can stop the test until the test is over and the reason why many christians are going to the test through fire and they don't want to finish the test they want to go through men of god that's why they're going churches and churches because they don't want to pass through the test they don't want to go through the process so they want to move to this man of god man of god tell me about my situation man of god lay hands on me man of god tell me about this man of god prophesy about me because i don't understand what is happening to my life and you don't know that's no man of god can deliver you from your test because even them they're watching you from far <laughs> because they have their own fire they cannot join you in the fire yes. only one person can join you in the fire yes. and that is the most what that is one of the reasons when you go through fire one of the closest people who say closest they leave you why they are watching if you can make it they are sending you message from fire it will be well jesus is lord keep on my brother keep on keep on pushing sister you will make it one day it's only for a season it's only for a time they are simply sending messages but they are not in the fire because they don't know what you're going through only you and god can understand what you're going through and your father So in the toughest time you don't talk to people you talk to god because there is no man you can trust with your information in a time of pain that's what james told us in the bible when you go through pain pray and when you have abundance praise god praise the lord break through break through but when there is fire need pray to god spend all your energy of complaining in prayer because sitting next to people they don't help you they will condemn you they will decrease you they will put you down they will show you why you went wrong and yet you have done nothing wrong men will always see something wrong to you and yet you didn't do anything wrong but leave it down to god god will see always rightness in your life because man is made to condemn but god is made to make you righteous So in every time in every season in every time in every season where things look light darker 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 and fire look unto jesus when you speak more to jesus 
when you prove to Jesus that no men deserve my trust because they don't deserve to walk with me in this time you will see that I am the only one to walk with you to make you great and I'm telling you one of the greatest things that happen to men who walk with God it is a time of trial you can see everybody in the Bible that are mentioned today in the Bible great men they are mentioned because of what they went through in life not because they did miracle no because of what they went through in life they went through a process they went through fire that's what the name is written in the bible he passed this he went through the fire he went through water he passed it and he overcome now what testimony can you testify about what you're going through what can you declare to the world i went through this and i overcame it because i remained faithful unto god You have a heart of giving up or do you have a heart to accept god god whatever you want to do even increase take more show me more take me more deeper in the fire make me more lighter let the devil throw his best shot i will still remain let him speak the best the best wickedness he can speak i will still remain because i am planted I am a seed planted in the right ground. I can never be uprooted. I still remain tall. And it is proof that your time of fire is your time of growth. When God desires you to grow and to mature in the things of God, it takes you through fire. So when you are not growing spiritually or whatever that is in you are not manifesting, then he has to take you through fire. When God tells you, I need the best out of you to come out and it's not coming out. When he comes, he speaks through two vision, nothing. He comes through dream, nothing. He comes through prophet, nothing. Then he says, okay, you are ready for test. Because test of fire will bring the best out of you. Out of you so pain and tribulation and trial is meant to remove something best out of you <laughs> you know what when you're going through that fire you will change the way you pray if you used to pray in french if you used to pray in Kikuyu, if you used to pray in Luo, if you used to pray in Kisi, you start changing Kisi. You say, no, this kind of battle I need to pray in tank. No, you start learning the ability to speak in tank. Labadika takato, labadika takato, labadakata, libadaka. Pain! Start waking you up at 3 a.m. because it's too much. You can't sleep. You just have to be on a knee. The only time you are peaceful is when you are praying. So that means when you wake up, the only time instead of you being on the phone, you start karamaya, ramaya, zaparama, rekata, zuta, ratakuse, yamakata. And let me tell you something when the test will be over, the test will leave you with the same character. So that means even when the abundance will come, when the favor will come back, you will still remain praying at morning, praying at 3 a.m., waking up glorifying God, sending all the prayer, celebrating God Almighty. So the test come to make you a great in the character which is godly. So I wonder when you go through fire, you don't pray. You get, get more weaker. More weaker. <laughs> you get more weaker. And you get more weaker. Hmm? And the enemy, the devil, is laughing now. He's saying, God, I told you. Look at them. I told you if you can remove that things, they will not pray again. This is what you call daughters? This is what you call son? Hey, God. That's what he told Job. Look, this is what you are glorifying, Job. Look, he was expecting Job to curse God. He even walked through the wife. He said, hey, woman, go and tell your husband. Can you just curse God and die? <laughs> there are some people in your time of trial, the enemy will enter them purposely just to talk to you to take you down. 
and God will allow the devil to enter them just to speak to you because they are close to you <laughs> because God knows Satan cannot speak to you like this because you are his he will enter other people to speak to you and the moment that you're going to fire if you sit with the wrong people you are making the biggest mistake You are making the biggest mistake because when you sit with some people they demoralize you they take you down they show you that you are nothing you minimize you when they minimize you and you also you are like there like this oh god where are you you have forgotten me no you are simply sitting with the wrong person with the wrong idea you need to sit with someone who went through fire who knows god like you who can tell you i will overcome it remain like this do this speak like this pray like this so like this do like this such people are elevating your faith they are empowering you to remain strong in your toughest moment in life. Are you understanding me? Yes. And I got to understand one thing. When you alter, okay, if Moses is passing through fire, even those who are connected to Moses must go through fire. <laughs> if you are true sons and daughter of Moses, then when you go through fire, even you have to pass through fire. Then if you are not going through fire, that means you are not connected to him. <laughs> That's what they say. The anointing that make you laugh today is the anointing that will make you cry tomorrow. The same anointing that is upon him is making him jump. There is a time that anointing will take him through trial. And when he's going through trial, even the people with him, his crowd, let's go. Because your pastor is given the mandate, is given the mandate to watch over your soul isn't it so when he's watching over your soul that means god has given the mandates to keep you to guard you to lead you so that means if god time has come over that man of god your time has come for the next dimension that means even those who are connected with you must go to the next dimension that's why the best thing you should do when there is a time of test when is a time of test even over the house even over the church even over a ministry even over a man when you're connected to that man until the end then that is the time you receive reward. What he sees, you begin to see. What he receives, you begin to receive. You begin to encounter grace in another level. Are you getting that? Not everyone are friends to you. Hmm? not everyone are friends to you there are those who are called friends can i tell you two kind of friends they are friends that comes in your life for a season they come for such a season where you're supposed to pass through this to help you to overcome it and they leave you they are friends who come for a season only to criticize you and then to leave you. They are friends that comes in a season simply to be there to strengthen you or to help you in that time and to leave you. So you don't invest much in friends for a season. And the best things you should do for yourself, you got to have the eyes to see friends that are there for a season. You won't spend much time with them. <laughs> the mistake is if you invest and you pour all your energy to the wrong friends which they came only for a season, then the one that will come for a lifetime, they will not get anything from you. So you got to have a lot of reserve in this earth a lot of reserve to yourself not to open up to everybody 
reserve your energy to the right people talk with the right people meet with the right people invest to the right people and there's a second type of friends friends for a reason friends for a profit my prophet my prophet <laughs> friends for a prophet they are friends that they can see that you might go through this time but i can see you have light you will come out of this and the day you come out i will demand from you that i helped you give me that's why abraham said i will not take anything from you whatever i take i give it to you so that you may not say that i prospered abraham oh hello that's what the moment is when you go through trial don't look around who is my helper look at god who is your helper Amen. don't go to houses no king upatie ugali upatie chai upatie maji upatie hi niko hapa usaidie usaidie you don't go there your help is god almighty Amen. kneel down and he shall send help Amen. and for you to know whatever you are going to godly every time you are going through that pain you will always have something in your hands to provide you for that style you will never lack food you will never lack time to go out you will never lack money at least to be in a restaurant to take a tea you will still have some money which is enough because the time for more than enough is coming Konda baraba tayinge satos. Very, very important in a time of trial. Can I show something you're supposed to do in the time of trial? As I close, Second Corinthians chapter eight, verse. Let's read it. Kado la base. Are you there? Second Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1. Let's read it. And now, brothers, we want you to know about the grace that God has given to the Macedonian church. What let's let's study them. What kind of grace is that? Next. Out of the most severe trial, they did what? Their overflowing joy and the extreme poverty welled up in rich generosity. of this is the highest trial they went through as a church but they were overflowing with joy this can only be the grace of the holy ghost this can only be the grace of the holy spirit they overflow with joy and the extreme poverty that's been the poverty was in the highest level with 50 bob in offering if you did 50 more that means you have extreme poverty to give to god you are calling poverty come to my life when you give god 50 bob and you have more that means you are calling poverty in your life <laughs> well up in rich generosity so that means your trial needs to be covered hindered your trial your test need to be put close somewhere and covered by a garment which is called generosity are you understanding that bible it is covered the scripture are inside don't mind my old bible i know the richest grace revelation which are here mm, you don't know what it's what is here you have no idea <laughs> But you see this cover there are scriptures inside and the scripture needed to be covered by a cover which is called bible here and that bible is talking about it is generosity and inside there is fire and that generosity let's see what kind of generosity paul is talking to us about that help them to their time of trial which is it next one they did what for i testify that they gave as much they were able and even beyond their ability entirely on their own they didn't push you so 
Then people now said, mm. God, is this you still you? The best thing you should do to your time of trial, a part of prayer, a part of character, a part of putting yourself away from the wrong people, cover it up by your ability of generosity, which is give. Generously. Joy overflowing. <laughs> the amen is like, mm, Jesus, I receive. No. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, because there is such a joy that you feel in the deepest of your heart, which money cannot give you, when you start helping people who are helpless in your time of trial. You begin gaining more joy. You begin gaining more strength. Ah, I can help people in my time of trial. I can be of a strength to a place in my time of trial. I can be of a blessing in a place, in a somebody's life, in my time of trial. They did not just give. They give above their ability. With such a joy. With such a joy. With such a joy with the Holy Spirit. No giving and expect God give me. Hello? 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 Are you listening to me there? Now, the biggest secret, the biggest secret you should know, you should know, and you should know, and you should walk with it all the days of your life on the ability of giving. Write it, it is right. You give not to gain, though you'll gain, but you give in the benefits of the gospel of Christ. Amen. When you give to the house of God. Amen. Now, when you give to the house of God, or you give to the men of God, not like those who are giving and they are reclaiming you back to the court. Anyway. <clears throat> But when you give to God, give generously. That's what generous, that means joy, not expecting anything. You are doing it out of joy, without being abused, without being pushed, without being told off. Why are you not doing it? Why are you so hard? Why are you so like this? No! You are having a pure heart giving such a joy. That's why many Christians they give in church, but they don't give pure heart, and therefore they cannot receive anything from God. It's better not to give than to give with a heart which is not generous. When you give to consider what am I giving, what is it going to do, where is it going to be used, how it's going to be done. That's when it is done in the company, that's when it is done, it is done in the places of businesses you can contract and you can see how your money goes but in the house of god it goes for the souls it goes for souls it goes for souls when i'm able to help the poor when i'm able to help the orphans when i'm able to help the widows in my time of trials when i'm able to stand for the church of god and to continually doing the works of god in my help with what i have i'm covering up my fire i'm putting more coldness in my fire so that the fire cannot destroy me because the only things that the devil is not allowed to touch is your giving he can touch your prayer he can touch your things but the only thing that he cannot touch is your giving that's what the bible says god gives the only 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 begotten son it is the highest things to do when you give your only begotten son the only one that you have because the devil knows that i can never touch giving specifically when it is a burning sacrifice a burning sacrifice he knows it that is the highest level I can never reach there I cannot touch because God gives seed to the sower that means as long as I'm going through trial I need to always have seed in my hand that can keep me alive because as long as I'm sowing as long as I'm living as long as I'm sowing as long as God will pour in my hands for my season Grand time God has let me come to me says hey tell your people tell them what you do so they can survive Christians are frustrated because they are giving so they can be rich and they are not getting rich oh dear Lord have mercy on these people ignorance you don't give to be rich you don't give to get the next millionaire in the town 
though it can be a fact when you remain faithful with God who told you you give so that I break through somewhere in your bank account they were promising you to give you 5 million until today they never give you so I have to give 500 so 5 million can be unlocked who told you listen don't listen to prophet who said to you so 500 so that's 5 million somewhere to be unlocked and to be given to you it's a lie though God function in numbers but you got to test you got to hear you got to listen because also your prosperity is connected to your giving there is one giving you do in life it is what will unlock your life <laughs> that's the only time people don't say amen there is always one giving that you give in life it's what will unlock your doors one not to one I remember my first seed that I saw I went to preach in a different nation and encountered that man of God I love the man of God was there and I package I package they gave a little that time I, I mean you know I was nobody I went I was going through fire a level of fire in that time <laughs> so, <laughs> so that fire was bad fire as well <laughs> but God delivered me amen. amen you see the fire of the that level I can never go down again in that level amen. you see because God has already set me free I passed it so there's certain amount in life I can never miss because I passed it that's a fact <laughs> so we're encountering another fire <laughs> okay so if you're still in the fire of lacking 10,000 ceiling until today Jesus Christ is Lord after 25 years of Christianity <laughs> you need to see God properly you need to be serious in your Christianity you really need to be serious you are not serious yet the same trial of lacking job eh? until today you see lacking job then you are not serious with god i'm telling you i know this god in the bits i know him he cannot let you to continue in the same trial of job of lacking job in this level that you grow spiritually and you still remain in the same place no it is your problem now don't play god don't play him don't play him i beg you don't play him don't blame him on things that he did not do. Don't blame him. Even for a fact, if you are not being told of what you are going through today before it to happen, then it is either your problem or Luciferian problem in it. And that one, you got to work it in deliverance and seeking God and sowing. Both parts demand sowing. Don't try me. <laughs> Don't try me. Oh, yeah. There's no more standing. Don't try me. Because I know what is disturbing you. The problem is sowing. That is your biggest challenge in life. Then you need to overcome it put it a goal I have to overcome the challenge of sowing in my life you have to I will teach my children one thing for sure yes the Bible said teach your child the rich rule over the poor so from the young age I will start teaching them rich rules over the poor rich rules over the power if you missed it i don't know how you'll try it if your children are grown up now i don't know <laughs> but thank god if you still have young children <laughs> the rich rule over the power how sowing the power demands the rich give even in the house of god the power always remain to say i don't have 
but they reach in the God's presence they give to God they don't give and we don't give because we have we give because we more need of God when you have challenges in sowing you have challenges to come out of your trial time hey listen if God is taking you through that trial in order to remove the love of man in your heart as long as you are not sowing you remain until you are 60 80 and we are coming to give thanks to God for your last breath God get to be more tougher when you are stubborn he resists to the pride and he gives grace to the humble who are the humble the humble are those who bow and give unto God they say God whatever even if you want to take my shirt even my heart but take not your presence from me take anything you want but don't take your presence from me God is in search of such people not of give you kidogo and I remain kidogo give yourself first totally unto God make your life a sacrifice that means anytime God wants you I am there and anything God wants from you it is there for you Can you hear God in your toughest time telling you, give me the best again? Will you not curse him? Or will you say, this is the voice of Satan? God, can't you see my time? Can't you see my bank account is crying? Hello, I'm done. And you are telling me that last things, it is yours. Listen, the Bible is not a liar. That's what Elijah did. This woman was dying. This was a critical thing. Not like the one you are having at least at 10,000 shillings and some people can provide for you food. This woman was dying. There is no food. There is no money. And the prophets, you dare, you are coming to tell me to give my only one. Listen, no, you listen. Something will lead the Bible sometimes in religious way. Eh? But listen to me a prophet to come to you and to tell you in a crisis in town in Nairobi, you are seeing people are burying their children. There is no food. And this prophet is coming to tell you, Give me the only one. You, you give. You are looking at your only son who is about to die. And you are me to believe a prophet because he told me God has said that's a thing is happening. As long as you don't reach in that level, then you are not ready for prosperity. You are not ready. You are not ready for the next level. The only thing I have, God, and if I give it, we die. <laughs> that means there is no solution, we die. That means I'm ready to die for life. I don't know this prophet where he came from. Which nation is he coming from? With his long beard, I don't know. With his clothes, whatever he has putting around. And he's telling me to give. But the woman, I don't know what grace Elijah had. But that woman accepted the voice. May God give grace. He accepted the voice. And she said, no matter, no whatever what God said, I will do it. He took the prophets. And listened by the mention of the voice and the mandate the prophets spoke. The woman obeyed and captured it. He believed in the prophet. Listen to me. In the highest time of your trial, when nothing is giving up, believe in the very voice of one prophet in your life. Believe in that one thing and be there. And so, as long as there is a prophet in your life, you'll never die cry in the crisis. Why? The prophet will always minimize the crisis. So every time God gives you a prophet, that means he doesn't want you to die in dryness. Every time God positions a prophet in your life, that means he doesn't want you to cry in dryness because he has provided the prophet. As long as that prophet is there, every time you go through a trial, he's made to be there in order to cause all his prosperity to sustain you until your test time is over. And the problem we make that we criticize, we hinder the prophets. And yet the prophet God placed him there to help you in your time of trial. In the time of trial of Anne, Anne needed to be always in God's presence next to a prophet. He didn't, she didn't count how many times I would be in the house of God just crying. I just want to cry. There was a day she came kneeling, crying just before God. And the voice sounded like many voices. Her murmuring sounded like many voices because a lot of prayer was brought at once. There was rain. Who told you your one sacrifice will open? No, it need many sacrifices. Continue. Don't show God I'm here for a reason. I'm here for you. 
Aló, 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 eh. Can you still hear God in a time of trial give? Or that voice get to be shut completely? Yeah. How much do you love of me? Are you ready even to, to pay sacrifice to remain nothing just because of God? tested it I'm telling you pulling everything I mean everything I give it unto God I mean everything that I was putting my eyes on it that I will do something with this and the Lord through a prayer I'm almost praying and I'm dozing like this the voice came give this one even direct me how to do it I shoot I'm like no way Jesus in my time of time <laughs> Thank God for true prophet. Thank God for true fathers. Who can feel your pain in a time of pain. Who can stand with you in a time of trial. Who can be with you and show you the way. Don't look at these people who see them big today. They're having such a glory of God in them. They do these things and manifesting. The prophetic is flowing like... Vrrr. You think it's so just easy. Hey, we have seen fire. You can't receive what I have if you don't accept to go through what I've been through. It's not all just one day I'll enter. If you pray five hours a day, I'll pray five hours. Yes, we can do five hours, but the process are different. How different? There are people who pray seven hours a day, 12 hours a day, but their things, their life is different than those who are praying even three hours a day. They accepted to go through fire and God has trusted them. And those who are praying seven hours, God has not trusted them. They're still in the level of grace. do you want are you scared of sowing are you scared that if I sow what will I eat tomorrow I'm the one talking to you you're scared your challenge is giving if you overcome the challenge of giving in your time of trial then nothing can break you nothing can destroy you hello nothing can destroy you and nothing can break you so ladies and gentlemen I submit to you this whatever is it whatever God has decided for you remain focused okay remain focused that means having Jesus as the focus. Okay? Fix your eyes on Jesus. Focus on Him. Okay? Seek Him. That means in your time of trial, reduce your distractions. The thing is, when you're going through trial, the Christian still distracted, walking around, seeing friends, watching TV, watching documentary series, going seeing cousins, brothers. In your time, you're supposed to concentrate and see what is this next dimension God needs from me. How can I climb to go to the next level? That means in a time of trial, you need to develop an attitude, remain in one place. Spend time sometime in your room by yourself. Just looking what is the next level. What is it? How can I capture it? How does God want me to do it? That means pray, seek Him, read the word of God. Because that place is where your next level is. In the revelation of the word of God. 
until you pull a revelation out of that word of God that means you can still flow in the same problem it is only the word of God that can also sustain you in a time of trial when you read the word of God it's bring peace in your heart it's bring like a cold water inside of you telling you you can keep on you can keep on pushing you can keep on seeing ahead you can keep on moving ahead when you re get the revelation of the word of God so that means I reduce my time of distraction. I reduce my time of this, this and that. I start focusing on the right things I'm supposed to do in life. I became more focused, less friends, and more focused. That means I start reading more. I start praying more. I start seeking the face of God more. I start shutting myself more in the room to see God. What is it you want me to learn? What is it you want me to learn? Because as long as you can still listen to people, you can't listen to God. I have to shut the listening to man in order to listen to God. Shut yourself. Seek him. Take me in the deep, God. Make me swim in the deepest of your love. Show me that which you want to show me. Reveal yourself unto me as you reveal yourself to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. You took them through the process. Here I am in the process. Reveal to me how do you want to make my name great. For you say you shall make my name great among people in this earth. You shall write my name among the great people. You shall make me sit among great men. This is the time you are making it, God. In silence, you are doing something. And when things are not responding, that's the moment you are walking. The best moment God work is when everything is saying nothing. That means he's working hard for you. And do you know how painful is that when you are working for someone at the back and that person is speaking against you, you feel like to abandon. And that is the things when silence in your life, nothing is responding. You are praying, God is not answering. You are doing this, you feel like God is not answering. There's one thing, is working. When he work, he doesn't speak. He simply move. So the only thing you need to do, Capture the right attitude. God is moving. When he's moving, that means I have to have this attitude. Sin away from me. Let me have a pure heart. Let me praise him. In the morning, let me sing for him. God, do more in silence. I know you are doing something. And the moment God speaks, that means it is done. Hey. Hello. What are you supposed to do? Eh? God's presence God's presence and in your time of trial you will know the heart of people don't lose don't use prophetic for you to know the right people in your life ask God take me through trial you will know the heart of human being you know how sarcastic is the heart of man. How dirty is the heart of human being. How betrayal is the heart of man. And when you go through fire, you will start trusting people less. You will have less people around you. You will start abandoning the crowd. Say, my heart, you shall not accommodate everyone. From today, I reduce the number of accommodations of people who don't deserve to be accommodated in me have it in that way and stand in that way did you get that have it in that way and stand in that way there's a scripture and some say pray always for the king bless him every day Pray always for the king and bless him every day. That means the king fight battle that you don't fight. Pray for him and bless him every day. That means when there is any kind of shaking in your home, in your marriage, in your finances, found a prophet after praying to God. Sit in the presence of a prophet. Bless the life of that prophet. His heart is connected to God. <laughs> Make his heart to rejoice in God's presence. The moment his heart rejoices, your heart rejoices. God's heart rejoices as well. Gain a genuine prophet, I'm telling you, and sit next to 
his presence is your sustenance in your time of trial use him for the right way use him for the right quality for your help is not in the bank your help is not in the car your help is not in the house your help is in God and God's prophet I'm done here arise where you are you make you need to make a vow to God from today you specifically who you are listening to you need to make a vow to God like I did I will never give you anything less than this amount in every services that I find myself in. God, I can never give you less than this amount in every service I find myself in. If I don't have it, I will pause and I'll redeem it after that day just to put that offering. Because I understand the higher dimension of God is don't come before me empty-handed. We don't and we have taken too much God for granted. And it's time for me as a prophet to speak. Don't get God for granted. There is such a dimension of God in me that you can never enjoy until the day you understand the revelation of who God is for you and humbling yourself before God and say I will do whatever you want me to do how many people are ready to say whatever you say I will listen whatever you take me I would go I will listen and I will go raise your hands to God you are going to pray for grace to remain strong grace to pass through fire with God for your benefit that there shall not be a look right there shall not be a look left there shall be always a look fixed on Jesus may God enable you to strengthen you for you to be evidence and efficacy strong in the time of trial 